Hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Benji Bruce here with SpeakingLifestyle.com, and we're going to do another website review here. So um, this website is ExcellentLifeLeadership.com. And uh, first, when I actually come to your website, basically I'm thinking, okay, what's the purpose of your website? So is it to get people to sign up for the event? Because up here, I see where it says register here. Uh, I see that, okay, there's events going on. Uh, here's the email address. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe the, the purpose is for events. And if, on the other hand, if the purpose is to get hired as a, a motivational speaker or just a leadership speaker, then your entire website needs to change. Um, either way, whether it's for events or whether it's for getting hired as a leadership speaker, you need a new website theme. So go to ThemeForce, get a new theme to, to make it just look better in general. Um, overall, it's actually the theme itself that you're using isn't bad. It just looks older. So um, I would personally get a new theme. Now here, when I'm essentially looking at the at the events, and I'm assuming, okay, this guy wants to do a lot of events, I click here at the top where it says register here, and it takes me to eventbrite.com. So it's taking me to a different part of, well, different website completely. You want that to open up in a new window so people don't leave your website. So this should open up in a new window, and now I'm thinking, okay, I wanna check out the events, but there's no call to action. So it's kind of like, okay, well, where do I, where's a, a button that says register here for an event? There is no button. So you need to, to put some button there that says, okay, here is the event. And if you want to get more people to sign up for an event, then don't list, um, number one, mentorship is not an event. So I clicked on events. I want to look for an event, not mentorship. So it's very misleading. If you want to do an event, then it's it's much better if you have a separate website, just like the Speaking Lifestyle Summit here, where there, this is a completely separate website uh, just for this event. Uh, so you would do something similar. You can, of course, use Eventbrite, uh, but it would just be one thing, one event going on uh, July 11th, July 12th, uh, but one thing, one event going on. So uh, that's the first thing when it comes to uh, when it comes to your your website. Now with the the email bar here where it says enter your email address, uh, this is the same mistake that a lot of people make when they want to get signups. Um, basically, in order for your in order for you to get a lot of people to sign up, you have to offer something specific. So sign up for free updates and videos. It's kind of like well, what updates? What videos? So first, you have to think. Okay, if I'm a leader, let's say I'm a Fortune 500 CEO. And on the other hand, it says sign up for um, the seven tips for for getting buy in for for employees or, or whatever. Something very something specific, uh, but just sign up for free updates and videos. That's not specific enough. So if you look at your analytics as far as how many people are actually signing up, it won't be nearly as good as if you actually made something very specific saying like, here's exactly what you get rather than just some videos and stuff. Um, also, your your slogan, uh, it uses a lot of the, the leader type words. It says, leading transformation through stories, uh, leading leaders to overcome. So I'm thinking, okay, what does that really mean? I mean, you use the word leading slash leaders uh, three times out of eight words. Uh, let's see, one, two, four, yeah, out of eight words. So it's kind of like it's it's very repetitive instead of me thinking, okay, what exactly, uh, what's the, the purpose of this guy? What kind of speaker is this guy? And uh, obviously you're a leadership speaker, but it just sounds weird. So it's like leading transformation through stories, leading leaders to overcome. That's a lot of leading leaders type thing. Uh, so I, I would personally use the word leader or leadership leading at maybe twice, no more than twice. Uh, just take it out of either the top thing here, the top quote there, or just uh, come up with something completely different. Um, now, when I essentially scroll down, and of course, this is good where you have the, the logos here. Uh, when I essentially scroll down, uh, let's see here. I have a note where it says, okay, here, influencers of all ages, uh, you want to essentially be more specific. Right now, you're trying to appeal to everyone. Uh, you're trying to just appeal to all leaders by saying, okay, all leaders, influencers of all ages. 
So you're trying to appeal to everyone, but you end up appealing to no one because a CEO, a Fortune 500 CEO, he requires different skills than a young leader, than someone who's 21 years old and wants to start something uh, or 21 and wants to lead in a game of basketball or something. But uh, the, the skills are completely different. So by you trying to say it's for all ages, you're actually going to end up speaking to nobody. Um, if you were a speaker, on the other hand, and you said that you're the Fortune 500 leadership speaker, well, you're very clear. Okay, unless you're a top-notch company, then I'm not the guy for you. So all these top-notch companies are going to think, well, he's the Fortune 500 leadership speaker. He's the guy we're looking for. Rather than uh, influencers and training for all ages, it's kind of like, oh, well, I don't really know exactly. Uh, I don't know exactly who he's speaking to. Um, when I come to this video, I, I kind of laugh for a second because when I click play, um, see, it it shows you you were actually hitting the, the record button, then you were backing up in order, to, in order to say something. You need to edit that part out. That part makes you look like an amateur as far as video goes, and it's kind of like, oh, this guy's just doing stuff, and now oh, he just put that and just kind of clicked record and he's backing up. Uh, I am hiring. I'm looking for a leadership speaker. I'm looking for a top-notch guy. And now you, you're you miscommunicating things. So you're kind of communicating the wrong thing to me with that little thing right there where it kind of says, oh, this guy's an amateur. So we're less likely to hire you. So you want to, it's just a simple edit, just cut to right here where you're about to speak. But also uh, when I played this video, recently I took my truck into the mechanic shop because the water pump had gone out. So you said recently I took my truck into the mechanic shop and it's like immediately you just start talking about a truck and I'm like, huh, what, what does this have to do with leadership? And this story goes on for a while and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, well, why should I watch this video? That's what's going on inside the mind of every person who's going to watch a video. They're thinking, why should I watch this? Um, what I mean, is it going to keep my attention? And when I come to your website, I'm looking for a leadership speaker. I'm looking for leadership, communication skills, that sort of stuff. And bam, you start talking about auto mechanics. And I'm thinking, what the heck? Um, so it, it's, it's, uh, it, it doesn't really communicate the right thing. Um, so later on, of course, you might have a message on why that story uh, was a good story. But if I don't know beforehand, I'm going to click away before I ever get to that later on. So maybe two, three minutes into the video, you kind of say, oh, and here's what it has to do with leadership. But if you didn't tell me that to begin with, then I'm going to click away immediately. So I need to know whenever you make a video, why should I keep watching this video? Uh, and then also you need to show me the length because if I'm looking for a speaker, I'm not going to go on someone's website and I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes to watch a video because this video has no length and I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm less likely to watch it. And if you look at analytics of this video, um, if you have like an analytics thing, maybe you're using uh, the wishya.com and uh, you have analytics to show you how long people are watching this, you'll notice they'll click away very quickly because number one, there's no video length here, so no one knows how long it's going to take. And then number two, uh, it's it's because the, the way you start the video, by telling a story without me knowing where the story is going or what the purpose is uh, until a while into the video, I immediately click away. So it's kind of like, all right, well, uh, I just immediately click. Now, um, as I kind of, let's see, let's click on here. Oh, and by the way, um, you're right now I'm using Safari as my browser, but when I do go to, um, when I go to Chrome, here's what your website looks on Chrome. So you'll notice that this third one over here, it just immediately disappears. It kind of just goes to the bottom versus uh, Safari. It, it looks fine. But on Chrome, it just looks all jacked up. So you want to go into Google Analytics and make sure that, um, well, see how many people are actually looking at your website from Google Chrome. It's probably a good amount, um, but even if it's not, you still got to fix this. This is why you want to get a better theme because the WordPress theme, if you get a WordPress theme, um, it basically adjusts whether it's Chrome, Firefox, Safari, um, Internet Explorer, uh, whatever you use, it, it will adjust. So you need a better theme. Now let's click here on the story transformation here. Um, let's wait for this to come up. 
So it's, oh, by the way, so it says story transformation coach. So we're, we're clicking on here. Let's see if it comes up, click on here. And now as I click on the story transformation coach, I scroll down and it says increase your influence, impact sales, improve contagious attitudes. I'm thinking what that's story transformation coach. And now it talks about increasing influence and in sales. Why didn't it say uh, sales training? Um, so once again, you're, you're kind of incongruent with the message. So when I click on story transformation coach, I'm thinking something about stories or transformation, breakthrough and all that. And then bam, you start talking about sales and influence. So you need to be very congruent with what you're saying. And I need to know what to expect when I click on something in your website. Um, so then all of a sudden the the video says uh the video says storytelling here uh so i'm i'm essentially i click on this and the video talks about storytelling so it talks about storytelling but what about selling because i'm thinking okay i i see influence in sales and now you start talking about storytelling i'm thinking what where did the sales go uh, so uh, you also want to think, okay, don't tell me the technique that you're going to teach me, AKA storytelling, which is what you're saying in here. You're saying, okay, I'm going to teach you storytelling. You need to tell me the transformation that I'm going to have for an example, like double your sales. So don't say that, oh, I'm going to teach you how to do storytelling because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what, what do I need storytelling for? If on the other hand, you say, I'm going to show you how to double your sales by using a simple technique as storytelling, that's much more effective than just saying, I'm going to teach you storytelling. And also in the video, if anyone watches this, you start talking about Christianity and religion. Once again, you're now being incongruent. Nowhere on your website have you talked about Christianity and religion and bam, out of nowhere, you start talking about Christ and all that. So once again, I'm like, huh, why, why did he all of a sudden bring up Christianity? Why did he bring up God? And uh, if you do that in the corporate world, you you immediately uh, X yourself out from getting hired. I guarantee that because in the corporate world, they don't want to offend other people. So it's not just about Christianity. There's Jewish people. There's Muslims. It's all kinds of people. So if you start talking about Christianity and I'm hiring a leadership speaker, I'm thinking like, OK, uh, he's obviously not right for our for our event, even if the person you're talking to is Christian. They're, the meeting planner it might be Christian, they might be a priest, in fact, but they're thinking this isn't right for our company event. So you need to take out the Christian part um, and just just don't don't include that if you want to work in the corporate world. Um, so once again, it's all about being congruent because uh, you're talking about uh, you're talking about influence and sales and then in the video you say story and it's not really congruent so let's kind of go here to the certified leadership you know, the speaker trainer and coach part so now uh, by the way so i clicked on certified leadership speaker trainer and coach so certified leadership speaker trainer and coach and then bam you start talking about team executive and entrepreneurial mentoring like what what happened to the speaker training and and in the certified leadership and and so it's kind of like once again you start talking about entrepreneurs and i'm thinking wow it's it's so incongruent i don't know what to think um now you you essentially you just need to be more congruent with uh with with what you're trying to communicate if you if someone clicks on uh let's see if someone clicks on certified leadership, the first thing that I should see is certified leadership. I mean, it shouldn't say personal. It should say certified leadership. I should know that I'm in the right place. Um, so now, of course, the, the leadership can be used for entrepreneurs. Of course, it can be used for entrepreneurs, but that's not what I'm thinking at, at this time. It's kind of like, what kind of speaker are you? Are you for entrepreneurs? Are you for Fortune 500 CEOs? Are you a team building type speaker? So I don't really know what kind of speaker you are because you're talking about everything on your website. Um, so, and then once again, you say the power of your story to transform lives, uh, to transform lives begins with the story you tell yourself. So, 
I'm thinking, okay, what what is this this story thing? Like, what do you mean by story? Uh, and Tony Robbins, he, I mean, he talks about that story in your head all the time. Um, but uh, anyone who doesn't follow Tony Robbins doesn't know what you're talking about. So it's kind of like, what what does he mean by story? When I think, well, when most people think in terms of story, they think in terms of uh, cat in the hat or or a bedtime story. So it's kind of like, what does story have to do with me building a team or, or me selling more or whatever kind of speaker that you want to get hired as? What does a story have to do uh, from with anything? Um, and then uh, essentially when, let's see, I, I scroll down. Let's see here. What, where are the notes here? So I scroll down and it says, select from the following material. So for team executive or for team or executive training. Uh, and now, once again, I mean, here, this is a lot of stuff. So it says select from all this stuff. I'm thinking in terms, OK, what do I learn? So it says select from the following material. Let's say I want to select this one. Put your dream to the test because you don't have a description of it. I don't know the difference between this one and the difference between this one. So it's kind of like, what do I learn? The title itself means absolutely nothing to me. Um, I'm coming to your website it means absolutely nothing. So what do I learn? What do I get out of it? Um, so just keep that in mind with the whole select from the following material part. Uh, and then let's see, I'll click, uh, click here, the work with me. And let's see, I scroll down and then once again, it says transform stories, transform lives. So I'm thinking once again, like, man, this guy talks about stories a lot. He must be like a storyteller. And that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so it's kind of like, what does story mean? Why should I care about this thing called story? And as I read everything, I just as I as I scroll down, and it says Sub subscribe to my newsletter and you're talking about okay uh, in order to work with you uh, people should kind of just go in in this order this is the order type thing and you say I currently publish two new blog posts most I write on communication personal development and then it says um, basically as I read all this it's it's a lot of I I I me 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 type thing you're so focused on you but you're not focused on them it's like why should I me reading your website subscribe to your newsletter if you said if I'm a CEO of a fortune 500 company and you told me uh, subscribe to this newsletter because you're gonna get um, the the single most important method for for getting anyone from Google to come to your company to work at your company it's kinda like okay that makes sense for me but you're saying that I that you personally publish two new blog posts a month as a reader I'm thinking okay why do I care about two new blog posts a month what what are the blog posts about you say I write on communication attitude leadership all this stuff I'm thinking as a reader what does that have to do with me okay good job so you have to basically tell me uh, why should I subscribe to your newsletter and as I read everything it's more from your standpoint not from the readers standpoint so just keep that in mind um, and when uh, when I was essentially kind of just going uh, all over your website it was actually kind of hard for me to find like the the videos on on your website um, so so let's say let's go back all the way to the to the beginning here so at the beginning there's there's nothing about videos there's no uh, the, there's really no navigation here and the, the only videos you have number one the video of you actually speaking should be the first video that someone sees not you just uh, kind of speaking to the camera so uh, I want to look at all the videos you have and when I come to your home page I just assume okay this guy only has two videos one video of him on stage and then just one video of him talking so you're basically making me search for your videos when I see the media section here I think in terms, okay, maybe this is publicity, PR type stuff. I don't really think in terms of of uh, like video or anything like that. And by the way, when I click on media, it comes back to here. Um, so it's kind of like uh, you want to make it very easy for someone to see all of your videos. 
So where are all your testimonials? Where are all of your videos? Uh, I shouldn't have to search for everything. Um, but those are just uh, a few changes that you want to make. Number one, definitely start with getting a new theme because this whole thing where uh, it looks fine on Safari, but when I come over here to, to Chrome, it just looks all, all messed up and a new theme will easily fix that. And then, of course, all the other changes. The, the key is really just congruency. Right now, your message isn't congruent. I don't know what kind of leadership speaker you are. And when I click on uh, on things, you start talking about sales and, and influence. And now I'm like, OK, is this guy a leadership speaker or is he a sales speaker? So, OK. And then all of a sudden I click on another thing. Now you start talking about entrepreneurship. So it's kind of like okay what kind of speaker is this guy uh, so you need to be very clear about what kind of speaker you are if you're gonna get people to sign up this has to be more more clear um, this has to be something very very specific not just sign up for updates it has to be something very very specific uh, so keep all those in mind change your website based on all those things and you should be good to go